Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. I'm Asma Gul, your English teacher. I hope you all are safe and sound. Today is our first English lecture of grade 8. We will start it with the book exercises of unit 3. All of you must be attentive and books should be open in front of you. The exercises which we will discuss today are exercise B page 28-29 Exercise CDE, page 29, and Grammar Exercises, page 31. Starting with Exercise B, page 28. Question is, choose the correct answer for the following. Number 1. As he drove through the great sea of people that stretched from the airport to the city, in this sentence, the metaphor sea of people conveys the idea that there was a very great number of people. Option B. Second, as soon as he appeared, the whole crowd roared with one voice, Pakistan Zindabad. Using the comparison clue, the word roared in this sentence means a long, deep voice. Option B. Number third, through all the excitement of those first days in the life of the young nation, in this sentence, the phrase young nation represents newly developed country. Option A. Number four. Kardiyazam, the man who had made it possible, remained calm, serious, and sober after independence because he was thinking of the millions of people who had become homeless. Option A. Number 5. Muhammad Ali Jinnah was at this time tired and far from well. In this sentence, the phrase far from well refers to ill or ailing. Option A. Next is exercise C, page 29. What do you understand by the following phrases? Explain. All these phrases are used in the unit. First phrase is the cheers and tears of joy. That means excitement or happiness. Second, far from well means not feeling well. Third, had become a nation means that the Muslims of subcontinent got independence. Fourth, enemy of today may be friend of tomorrow. It means that India can be good friend of Pakistan tomorrow. Then after it is exercise D, page 29, the question is, use the following words in sentences of your own. Five, sen five words are given. I am giving you example sentences for the five words, but you have to make your own sentences. The first word is excitement. Excitement means feelings of joy or happiness. Example sentence, the children were jumping with excitement. The second word is ideal, which means role model or perfect. For example, if you are saying about something or someone that you like or admire, you use the word ideal for it. Like, the weather was ideal. Or another sentence, the beach is an ideal place for children to play. Third word is rarely. Rarely means sometimes. For example, he rarely gets angry. Fourth is vast, which means great in size are huge for example the sahara is a vast desert or you can say she has a vast knowledge in that area fifth and last word is unity which means integrity ittifaq for example national unity is essential in war time Next is exercise E, which is find the meaning of the following words from the dictionary and identify the part of speech of the word through abbreviation used. What we have to do that we are going to write the meanings of the given words and we are going to identify the part of speech of the given words. The first word is ferocity, which means cruelty and it is noun. Second is remind. Remind means to put in mind or to recall and it is a verb. Third word is determination. Determination means firmness and it is noun. Fourth word is crowd. Crowd means large group of people and it is also noun. Last and fifth word is sober. Sober is C 
serious. Sober means serious and it is adjective. Then is exercise F, that is, consult a thesaurus and find out the antonyms of the following words. Antonyms means the opposite. So the words are serious, violence, weakness, delight, and harmony. Serious, funny. Violence, peace. Weakness, strength. Delight, sadness harmony disharmony then on page 31 comes the grammar exercises and the first topic in grammar exercises is articles english has two articles the and an the is used to refer to specific or particular nouns and an is used to modify non-specific or non-particular nouns we call the definite article and e and are called indefinite article. Another important point regarding the indefinite article is that article a is used before consonant sounds and an is used before vowel sounds. Now I will give you some examples. As we have discussed that a and is used to refer to a non-specific or non-particular noun. For example, I would like to go see a movie. Here, we are not talking about a specific movie. We are talking about any movie that there are many movies and I want to see any movie. I don't have a specific one in mind. Similarly, about the definite article the, we discussed that it is used to refer to specific nouns. For example, I just saw the most popular movie of the year. By this I mean that there are many movies but only one particular or specific movie is the most popular. If I say let's read the book, I mean a specific book because I'm saying let's read the book. But if I say let's read a book, I mean any book rather than a specific. Then after it we will discuss the cases where we use no article. So here are some points you should note down these points with yourselves. The first point is when you are talking about things in general so there no article is used. For example milk is good for you. We are talking about milk in general. so. There, no article is used. Second point is if you're talking about sports or games, so no article is used with sports and games like let's play football. Third point is before names of countries and places, articles are not used. Like for example, she lives in Peshawar. Next point is before the names of languages also articles are not used it's like we are learning English and next fifth point in this is that before the names of meals we also don't use articles just like they invited some friends to dinner coming to the book exercise of articles the question is fill in the article a and or the where necessary insert cross where no article is used if we have discussed all the points where to use the definite and indefinite articles and where we are not going to use the articles let's start the exercise do it with me i like the blue t-shirt over there better than the red one Second one is, their car does 150 miles an hour. We discussed this point that the article N will be used before vowel sounds and A will be used before consonant sounds. But here before R we have used N. But the word R starts with H. But H in this word is silent and we have said that the article N is used before consonant sounds. So the sound of the word R is vowel. 
third one where's the usb drive i lent you last week fourth do you still live in banu here you have to put a cross because here we have discussed that before the names of places we do not use any article and last one is is your mother working in the old office building and is your mother working in an old office building both the articles are correct here the and and this was today's lecture hopefully you have understood that well so till the next lecture stay home stay safe and allah hafiz